going to twist off the top, and my tail will have not one, not three, not four, but only two swallows of my remarkable elixir. And he's going to start feeling things he hasn't felt in a long, long time. <laughs> yes, you may thank me for that. <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> well, either one of you. <laughs> All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, before we actually begin, I wish to relate a story, a true tale, if you will, about the gentleman who swears by my product, one involving Mr. Ebenezer Crunch. Mr. Crunch is a gentleman of somewhat advanced years. Upon retirement, he decided to get away from the hustle and bustle of civilization. He went high into the hills, created his own little cabin, to get away from it, acclimatize himself, if you will. His only companion from day one was a little rabbit that burrowed out of the ground, greeted him with a little wig of his nose, and they started the day together. Well, this happened periodically for eight months straight. Each morning, Mr. Crunch would be on his front porch having his coffee. The little rabbit would come out, wiggle his little nose. A perfect relationship. All of this abruptly changed one day, ladies and gentlemen, when Mr. Red Wheeler, which is, of course, Mr. Rebenezer Crunch's dear friend, came to visit him, bringing much-needed supplies. And Mr. Wheeler is coming up that hillside. He's got his buckboard with two black stands. that are going fast and fast and up that hillside. Sparks were flying off the cobblestones as their iron hoof beats uh, beat onto the ground. But then, ladies and gentlemen, at that most inopportune moment, uh, the little rabbit poked his head up out of the ground and decided to cross the road. Can you see what's about to happen, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Crunch was beside himself with agony. His dear little friend for up eight months, apparently they're lifeless. He did not know what to do. But Red Wheeler did. He quickly reined in that teeth. He opened up a box, grabbed a nondescript bottle from that box, opened the cork, poured the entire contents thereon, threw the bottle in the underbrush, went on his merry way. At first nothing happened, ladies and gentlemen, and then the most miraculous event did occur. The undulating, quivering form of the little rabbit began to move and shake. And then one ear went up, and another ear went up, and then a paw came up, grabbed both those ears, shook himself vigorously as to reinflate himself, looked Mr. Ebenezer Crunch dead in the eye and went. <laughs> he did this till he was completely out of sight. Oh, Mr. Crunch was euphoric with happiness. He had to know what brought back his little chum. He searched through the underbrush. He found the bottle, put on his reading spectacles. He read the directions and it said, Instant Hair Restorer. <laughs> <laughs> With a permanent wave. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, once the product has been consumed and your body has been transformed by its divine effect, where the bottle itself at no extra cost to you may be used over and over again for a myriad of uses. Think about it. Put water into flour and you have a vase. Or a vase, depending on your pronunciation. In emergency situations when the lights go out, put a candle out. Don't light your way into the dark. Or my personal favorite, ladies and gentlemen. Use two of these handsome bottles together and you have an adventure. Of your own creation. Oi, oi, Captain! I see a ship off the port bow. I can't tell we are. <laughs> see, the list is in. All right, Mike, I'm going to have you uh, take the bottle from my grasp, and I want you to have those two swallows. Now, before I actually turn it over to you, I, I, I ask you to allow me to stand back, please. Sometimes these things are known to explode. Swallows, my suspicious friend. <laughs> One. Always oh, a sloppy uh, drinker. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. We're pretty good. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Oh, good. That's all you need. Now, I shall take the bottle and the cap. You'll receive this uh, complimentary at the end of the program. <laughs> I'm going to put the cap back on to make sure no foreign debris finds its way inside. Now, Mike, uh, how are you feeling right now? Are you feeling a little lightheaded? Uh, I mean, more than usual? I feel pretty good. Oh, good, good, good. Are you feeling tingly to the farthest extremities of your body parts? Yeah. Oh, good, because if you have it, wouldn't worry. Have the rest of you. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, unbeknownst to Mike right now, his mind is at a complete metamorphosis. 
perhaps permanently. His mind is now in the realm of the ethereal plane. Dare I say it, ladies and gentlemen? I dare. Mike's mind has now entered the realm of the supernatural. Mm. Mike here with his supercharged mind is now ready and able to correctly identify objects sight unseen with just the mere power of his mind alone. <laughs> 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 Effectively demonstrate this, ladies and gentlemen. I shall need to blindfold. Blindfold. What did I do with the blindfold? I never go anywhere without the blindfold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that came from, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, oh, yes, yes, yes. It's the right pocket that has the blindfold. The left pocket has something entirely different. <laughs> now, Mike, I'm going to blindfold you. Can you see anyway? No. Good. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as you today as you assembled upon the village green, for demonstration purposes only, for demonstration purposes only, I took the liberty of uh, purloining a few objects off your personages. <laughs> didn't feel a thing, did you? Don't worry. At the end of this program, you'll receive most of your belongings back, especially the ones I don't want. <clears throat> All right, now, I caution young people, do not put out the answers, or you'll completely nullify the effect of this demonstration. Pinky swear, pinky swear. Yes, yes. Same with you. Don't say anything. She's not going to admit it. All right. all right, please don't say anything. All right, all right. First of all, Mike, are you ready? Yes. Kind of strangest. Very good. All right, very good. All right. All right. All right, Mike. I have just exhibited the first object to the excited crowd. Oh, it's good. You feel the excitement. <laughs> All right. It's only been a few seconds since you had my powerful beverage. Your mind is now entering the realm of the fourth dimension, which is what we all know is the, the realm of time. Everyone here with anticipation writ on their faces. They're all eagerly watching you. Mike, what am I holding in my hands? Bottle? Bottle. Yeah, Kenny, he wants another swallow. Maybe. Sometimes, if you deal with someone that you may need another swallow. But I saw three will do, ladies and gentlemen. Three will do. No, no, not Mike. No, I'm sure you didn't have enough that first week and spilled quite a bit on your chest. Uh, let's have one more swallow, Mike. And three will do it, ladies and Three will do it. In the most difficult cases. You laugh, but the most difficult case is three will do it. Oh, good, Mike. Now your mind is opened up again. <laughs> All right, Mike, there we go. Now, Mike, yes. I'm still holding that object in my hands. It's only been a few more seconds since you had my powerful beverage. Everyone here with anticipation writ on their faces. They're all still eagerly, what? Seeing you. <laughs> Mike, what am I holding in my hands? Of the essence, Mike. See, the most difficult case is three, no more than three. All right, second object, ladies and gentlemen, second object. Many of them are biting their fingernails. Actually, some of them are biting each other's fingernails. How exciting this is. <laughs> All right, Mike, I'm holding the second object in my hands. I want your mind to engage in otherwise even thought process. The finger of fate is clearly pointing to you. Listen as the jewel of your newfound mind correctly identifies this object. Listen as my ringing words revive your cranium. <laughs> Mike! What am I holding in my hands? A bell. A bell. <laughs> <laughs> I will never take any more than three. No, no, Mike. The finger of fate is still pointing to you. 
That jewel of your newfound mind will correctly identify this object. It will engage in another way system for process. Listen as my ringing words reverberate your cranium. What am I holding in my hands? Yes, you do, I think hard. <laughs> is it a ring, Professor? It is a ring! <laughs> Sit a hand, not up, not a knee. What's the matter with you? <laughs> All right, Mike, here we go. Right. I want your mind to unlock the dark recesses of a forgotten psyche. Oh, excuse me, my young lady beckoning toward me. Yes, young lady, how may I help you? Oh. Buenos dias, senorita. Como está usted? Uy, yeah. Gracias. Banyo, oh, see, momentito. <laughs> Mike, I have a young lady here from down south of the ball. She doesn't speak English. She's asking me the location to the nearest restroom. Mm -hmm. Si, senorita, Las Baños. Las Baños está aquí. <laughs> <laughs> what am I holding in my hand? <laughs> si, senorita. Las Baños está aquí. Como? Si. Los hombres muy estupidos. <laughs> <laughs> Si, sí, señorita, las, las paños está aquí. Aquí. <laughs> Somersault and land doing the splits. Free consultation, if you will, my friend. Yes, Mike, can I help you? Yeah, Professor, I really don't think I can do this. Yes, you can, Mike. I have faith in you. No, Professor, I really think I can hurt myself. Don't worry, Mike. I'll get us out of this somehow. Thank you, Professor. You're the best. <laughs> I have just had a brief consultation with my client, Mike. He informs me he'd love to comply with my request. And he can do it! But you see the shorts that he's wearing, they're a bit tight. <laughs> Freddy might be <laughs> We don't want that to happen now. I know I don't. So I decree this test a complete success. That's it for Mike! Yay! Yay! You may purchase my product in our trading post. Ask for no substitutions, only Schmidlap's finest for your lips. Oh, and I, I do have a personal request of all of you. If uh, you happen to uh, bump into some law enforcement administration, particularly Texas Rangers, that are talking about my whereabouts, uh, mind a misunderstanding, I assure you. Tell them that you have not seen me today, and last you heard, I'm on my way to Santa Fe. Thank you. Adios. 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 